BBC Radio London. Update. Hello. It's been a warm and rather summery day. I'm Lauren and this is everything you need to know from BBC Radio London in two minutes. Boris Johnson has set out the next steps to ease the lockdown restrictions in England. From now, anyone can use public transport. And from next week, gyms are back. From August the 1st, your boss gets the power to decide where you should be working most safely. This could still be at home, but might be in the office or factory. The Prime Minister said he hoped life could start to return to normal by November at the earliest and possibly in time for Christmas. It's not only a very important time of year for for families, it's also a very important uh, time of year for the UK economy and and for many, many millions of people uh, working in all kinds of sectors, and many of them uh, on modest incomes. So it's very important that we, we hope for the best. That's what I'm trying to, to set out today, a plan that we, where we hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Also, from next month, more leisure facilities like bowling alleys, skating rinks and casinos will reopen, but nightclubs and soft play areas will remain closed. Live audiences for indoor concerts and conferences could return from October, dependent on the success of a number of trials. The National Gallery is extending its opening hours following what is said to be a huge demand from visitors. Earlier this month, it became the first major art gallery to reopen. From next week, it will close at six o'clock each evening instead of four, with late openings until nine on Fridays. If you like a Whisper, Crunchy or Twirl chocolate bar, listen up. Cadbury says all the bars sold in multi-packs are going to get smaller by the end of next year. They'll limit them to 200 calories each. The company says it's about helping tackle obesity. Things will stay dry and warm tonight with lows of 21 Celsius. That's it for now. We're back in the morning. BBC Radio London.